There wasn't a great deal of news on the weekend, but one thing, one very interesting thing that did happen was Akuma from Street Fighter was announced as a character for Tekken 7. And by the looks of it, he's about to smack some fucking sense into Heihachi. He'll be like, I wear the black gi in these parts. And Heihachi be like, get off of my property. Don't ask me why they're like hillbilly rednecks, but whatever. So in the trailer, we saw a little bit of the story and how they're trying to connect him. He spoke of a promise that he made to Jun. Maybe she saved him, maybe she put out, who knows. But the next thing they showed in the trailer was Akuma using his moves, his signature moves. He's got the Hadouken, Shoryuken, and Tatsumaki. Ooh, ooh, and the Shangoku Satsu. Cannot forget about that shit. That's like his thing. So how are they gonna actually use all of these moves in, in Tekken? Will he be able to spam Hadoukens like he can in Street Fighter? I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. I mean, what they showed as well is that you can actually just sidestep the Hadouken. So the question is, will Akuma's moves, like the Tatsumaki and the Shoryuken, be the end of combos, or will they just be signature single moves on their own? I mean, Devil Jin's got some crazy shit. I'm sure they can show Akuma some love. Wouldn't it be cool if he actually had to do the Shango Kusatsu command from Street Fighter, but use it as at the end of a combo, like that would be the combo chain. So maybe it'd be like left punch, left punch, and then forward light kick, heavy punch, and maybe the heavy punch is the thing that connects him into the Shangoku Satsu? That would be pretty fucking cool. Now this brings up another question. Is Akuma going to be the only Street Fighter character as like a bonus DLC thing for Tekken? Or is he the first of many? There is nothing stopping them from potentially grabbing more Street Fighter characters into Tekken. Did Capcom maybe purposely leave him out of Street Fighter V so that he could be in Tekken 7? I mean, I'd be happy with him in both games, but whatever. But there's so many cool Street Fighter characters they could bring over. The problem is, all the really iconic ones that aren't Akuma are already in Street Fighter V, so if they're going that route, there's not a lot they can do. But then it got me thinking, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, the one that Capcom did, where it's basically Tekken characters in Street Fighter, I actually didn't mind that game, mainly because I had Ken and Steve Fox, and I would blonde the shit out of people. But maybe, just maybe, Akuma being put into Tekken 7 is a way for them to test. Maybe they saw that Street Fighter Cross Tekken wasn't that well received. So maybe, instead of just jumping right in, they want to test the waters a bit. They want to see how a Street Fighter character handles. Kind of like a beta. This for them can give them adequate feedback so that they can make Tekken Cross Street Fighter a good fucking game. It can also give them experience in programming. So when they finally get to Tekken Cross Street Fighter, they can be like, okay, this is how it handled when we tried Akuma in Tekken 7. I like this, I didn't like this, let's try this. Or I can improve on this. If that's what they're doing, if this is just a test for Street Fighter Cross Tekken, or Tekken Cross Street Fighter, because it's a Tekken game, then that's fucking smart. Just don't do this DLC bullshit that Capcom did. I like that game, but not enough to put up with that bullshit. So what do you think? Do you think he's the first of many? Do you think he's just a test for Tekken Cross Street Fighter? Which Street Fighter character would you throw in with him? Guile hasn't been announced, and he's somewhat iconic. I mean, Jean-Claude Van Damme played Guile. Yeah. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more goodness, and I'll see you guys next time where I shun Goku Satsu a sandwich into my mouth. I'm that hungry.